The McGinty Equation versus the Standard Model. Welcome to this deep dive into the McGinty Equation, or MEQ. Today, we'll explore how this equation addresses fundamental problems in the Standard Model and beyond, including dark matter, dark energy, and space-time. Gravity's quantum dance, merging the infinitely small and the unimaginably large. This is the story of how the tiniest particles in the universe interact with the vast cosmos, creating a dance that has puzzled scientists for generations. For centuries, physicists have grappled with two realms, the universe of the very large, ruled by gravity, and the world of the incredibly small, governed by quantum mechanics. These two domains seemed irreconcilable, each with its own set of rules and mysteries. The McGinty equation proposes that gravity is just another quantum field, interacting with everything else. This groundbreaking idea suggests that the force pulling us towards the Earth is part of the same fabric that governs the behavior of subatomic particles. Instead of treating it as a separate entity, it incorporates gravitational effects as perturbations on the quantum field. This means that gravity is not an isolated force but a part of the quantum tapestry that makes up our universe. Imagine a calm pond, toss a pebble in, the ripples represent gravity's influence, subtle yet undeniable. These ripples are like the gravitational waves that ripple through the quantum fields, affecting everything in their path. The MX suggests that dark matter could emerge from the fractal potential term in the equation itself, explaining its ghostly nature. This mysterious substance, which makes up most of the universe's mass, might be a natural consequence of the quantum fields. The MEQ treats dark energy as an emergent property of quantum fields interacting with a fractal space-time. This could explain why the universe is expanding at an accelerating rate, driven by the energy inherent in the quantum fields themselves. The Shadow Universe Revealed Unmasking Dark Matter and Dark Energy Dark matter and dark energy make up 95% of the universe, yet remain shrouded in mystery. The standard model doesn't have a good explanation for them. The MEQ suggests that dark matter could emerge from the fractal potential term in the equation. Imagine a vast, invisible ocean, its surface rippling with unseen energy. The MEQ treats dark energy as an emergent property of quantum fields interacting with fractal space-time. If the MEQ is correct, dark matter and dark energy are integral parts of the universe's fabric. The Ghostly Dance of Neutrinos Unveiling the Secrets of Nature's Shapeshifters these elusive particles are constantly moving, changing, and interacting in ways that challenge our understanding of the universe. Neutrinos are the ghosts of the particle world, flitting through the universe, barely interacting with matter. They pass through planets, stars, and even our own bodies without leaving a trace. One intriguing aspect of neutrinos is their ability to oscillate, changing between different flavors. This means they can transform from one type to another as they travel through space. This implies that neutrinos have mass, a property that the standard model struggles to explain. The discovery of neutrino mass was a groundbreaking moment in particle physics. The MEQ suggests that neutrino mass arises from their interaction with fractal fields. These fields are complex and dynamic, influencing the behavior of particles in fascinating ways. Imagine a surfer riding a wave. The motion and energy of the wave carry the surfer forward, much like how fractal fields affect neutrinos. The surfer represents a neutrino, and the wave represents the fractal field. This metaphor helps us visualize the complex interactions at play. As neutrinos interact with fractal fields, they gain mass, explaining their oscillatory behavior. This interaction is key to understanding why neutrinos can change flavors. The MEQ's explanation for neutrino oscillations has profound implications for our understanding of the universe. It opens up new possibilities for exploring the fundamental forces and particles that make up our reality. The Cosmic Imbalance, Solving the Mystery of Matter's Dominance One of the most fundamental questions in cosmology is why there's more matter than antimatter in the universe. This imbalance is crucial because, without it, the universe as we know it wouldn't exist. Matter and antimatter annihilate each other upon contact so a perfect balance would have left nothing but energy. The standard model offers some explanations but they're often incomplete. It describes the fundamental particles and forces, yet it doesn't fully account for the observed dominance of matter over antimatter. The MEQ suggests that the fractal structure of space-time could be responsible for the matter-antimatter asymmetry. This theory posits that space-time itself has a complex, self-similar structure 
that influences particle interactions. Imagine the early universe, a chaotic soup of particles and antiparticles. In this primordial state, particles were constantly colliding and annihilating each other, creating a dynamic and turbulent environment. Introduce fractal vortex structures into this mix, creating regions where matter and antimatter interacted differently. These vortices could have caused slight imbalances, favoring the survival of matter over antimatter in certain areas. This tiny imbalance, amplified over billions of years, could explain why we live in a matter-dominated universe today. The initial asymmetry, though minuscule, grew exponentially as the universe expanded and evolved. The MEQ connects the universe's large-scale structure and the behavior of fundamental particles. By understanding this connection, scientists hope to unlock deeper insights into the very fabric of our cosmos. The Muon's Magnetic Mystery Fractal Corrections and the Anomalous Dipole Moment The Muon, a heavier cousin of the electron, has puzzled physicists for decades with its magnetic dipole moment. The MEQ suggests that fractal corrections could be responsible for the Moon's unexpected magnetic behavior. Imagine the Moon as a tiny spinning top. Introduce fractal fluctuations into the mix. These fluctuations could interact with the Moon, slightly altering its spin and affecting its magnetic moment. The Muon G2 anomaly highlights the power of the McGinty equation to address perplexing problems in modern physics. The W boson's weighty issue. Gravitational and fractal corrections to particle mass. The W boson, a fundamental force carrier, has a measured mass slightly heavier than predicted. The MEQ suggests that both gravitational and fractal corrections could contribute to the W boson's mass. Imagine the W boson as a tiny vibrating string, introduce gravitational and fractal effects into the mix. These effects could modify the W boson's vibrational energy, and therefore its mass. The W boson mass anomaly underscores the potential of the McGinty equation to refine our understanding of particle physics. Taming the hierarchy, the Higgs boson fractal potentials and the stability of reality. The Higgs boson presents the hierarchy problem. Why is its mass so much lighter than predicted? The MEQ suggests that fractal fluctuations could interact with the Higgs boson, effectively screening its mass. Imagine the Higgs field as a vast, undulating landscape. Introduce fractal fluctuations into this picture. These fluctuations could stabilize the Higgs mass, reducing the need for fine-tuning. The MEQ offers a more natural explanation for the observed properties of the Higgs boson. The seesaw and the fractal. Rethinking neutrino masses and the mechanisms of nature. Neutrinos pose a challenge to the standard model with their incredibly small masses. The MEQ suggests that fractal corrections to the neutrino mass terms could naturally suppress their masses. Imagine neutrinos as tiny boats sailing on a vast fractal ocean. The MEQ offers a more unified picture of the universe, where seemingly disparate phenomena are interconnected through fractal geometry. The building blocks of reality, prions, compositeness, and the fractal nature of particles. The standard model describes quarks and leptons as fundamental particles, but some physicists propose prions. The MEQ suggests that fractal corrections could modify the properties of quarks and leptons, hinting at their composite nature. Imagine quarks and leptons as tiny, intricate snowflakes, each with a unique fractal structure. The MEQ opens up new avenues for exploring the compositeness of matter. The quest for unity, grand unified theories, fractal corrections, and the convergence of forces. Physicists have long sought a grand unified theory to describe the unification of fundamental forces. The MEQ suggests that gravitational and fractal corrections could contribute to their unification at high energies. Imagine the strengths of the fundamental forces as rivers flowing down a mountain, converging at higher energies. The MEQ offers a fresh perspective on the quest for a grand unified theory. Strings, Membranes and Fractals Bridging the quantum and the continuous with the McGinty equation. String theory proposes that the fundamental constituents of the universe are tiny, vibrating strings. The MEQ suggests that fractal corrections to the properties of strings and brains could manifest as subtle deviations from traditional string theory. Imagine the strings and brains as vibrating surfaces embedded in a fractal spacetime. 
The convergence of string theory, M-theory, and the MEQ is a fascinating area of exploration. The future of physics, uncharted territories, and the expanding frontiers of knowledge. The MEQ represents a significant departure from traditional approaches to physics. The true test of any scientific theory lies in its ability to make accurate predictions that can be verified through experiments. The exploration of the MEQ and its implications is an ongoing journey, requiring collaboration between theorists and experimentalists. The pursuit of this new physics has the potential to revolutionize our understanding of the cosmos. The McGinty Equation is a new lens on the cosmos. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the McGinty Equation and its groundbreaking implications for physics. Stay curious and keep exploring the wonders of the universe with us. Hit like and subscribe.